Hi guys, David O'Sullivan here, and in this video I'm going to be giving you my review of the 2017 award season. Well, I can't believe it, the award season is already coming to a close. I've had three months of fantastic films. It's so great every award season because although I love blockbusters and all these other kind of films, it's always great when the award season comes around because then you always know you're in for like three great months of fantastic films and we've had so many great films this award season. And in this video I'm basically just going to be doing a recap of all the awards films on a whole, just going through each of the major contenders for best picture at the Oscars. We've already had the BAFTAs here in the UK. I'll be factoring that in a little bit to see if the winners of the BAFTAs will anyway influence the Oscars. But basically, I'm just going to go through each of the nine best picture candidates and giving you my thoughts on what I thought about each of those films, as well as the chances I think each of them has in winning however many awards. Before I get started, what I will say is that I have not seen Fences, so I will not be able to talk about Fences in this video, but I have seen every other film nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. I may as well start with the two I haven't talked about yet in any of the videos. And the first is Lion. I really like Lion. I thought it was really good. Now, out of all the other awards films, I think Lion was at the bottom of the pile for me. I don't in any way think it was a bad film. I did think it was a really good film and deserving of a nomination for sure. It's just that all the other films I think are way better. And Lion for me wasn't as good as a lot of the other awards films. I did still like it, I did think it was good, I'm glad it is nominated, I think it was a really kind of great true story and a film that, a story that needed to be told and I think it was a really good film even though I personally didn't love it. I don't know if it's got any kind of chance of winning any major awards, Dev Patel did win Best Supporting Actor, funnily enough it did win quite a few awards at the BAFTAs but I have a feeling that was because there's a lot of kind of British talent involved in the film like Dev Patel for instance, I don't think even though I like Dev Patel in the film, I don't think he's got a chance of winning Best Supporting Actor at the Oscars. I don't think Lion will win any major awards. Maybe it will. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it will win a lot of Oscars, but I don't think it's got a chance of winning that many major Oscars. Next up we have Hidden Figures. This is the one I saw most recently, really, and I really liked Hidden Figures. It was really good. Again, I don't think it's as good as some of the other awards films. And, you know, an argument could be made of maybe if it came out last year, it might not have got nominated and it's maybe it's just getting nominated because of the whole Oscars So White thing from last year. But to be honest with you, even if that is the case, I don't really care. I'm glad that it's been nominated because it was a really good film. I'm not sure if it's like Oscar worthy. I'm not sure if it's like as good as some of those other films nominated, but I'm really glad it was nominated because it was a really good film. A really great kind of crowd pleasing triumphant film of this true story that nobody really knew about until the film came out. All the performances I thought were great. I think Taraji P. Henson could have been nominated. I thought she was great. Uh, Kevin Costner was really good in it as well. Everyone was really good in that film. And Again, another really great inspirational kind of true story. Uh, I think a story that needed to be told and a really great film, really great crowd pleasing film. And I really enjoyed him because, again, I'm not sure if it's got a chance of winning any major awards. I think he's only been nominated for like three, including Best Picture. I'm glad it's been nominated. I think it was deserving of a nomination. However, I don't think it's got a chance of winning anything. Next up is Hacksaw Ridge, and if you've seen my review of Hacksaw Ridge, you'll know that I really love it. I'm not going to go too much into it here because, again, I've already done a whole video talking about the film. I really did love Hacksaw Ridge. However, again, I'm not sure if it's going to win that many awards. I'm not entirely sure how many it's nominated for. Obviously, it's nominated for Best Picture, Mel Gibson for Best Director. I'm really glad it's got those nominations because, for me, I think Silence was really good. But for me personally, I think Hacksaw Ridge was much better. It, it affected me more emotionally. I got more emotionally invested. And I think it was the more powerful, um, impactful film for me. I'm glad Andrew Garfield got nominated for Hacksaw Ridge instead of Silence. Because I think Silence was great. I think he was great in that film. But for me, I think he was even better as Desmond Doss in Hacksaw Ridge. Again, as much as I like Hacksaw Ridge, I'm not sure if it's got a shot of winning any of the major awards. But I'm really glad it was nominated. Next up is Manchester by the Sea. And I thought Manchester by the Sea was a great film. It's a film that it didn't blow me away initially on my first watch. But then over time, as the more I thought about it, the more it grew on me. And the more I kind of came around to actually really loving the film. I think it was a really fantastic film. Really well written. Really well directed. I like it could be made, oh, it seems more like a kind of play than it is a film. But I've heard that argument a lot with Fences. But for me... 
with Manchester by the Sea, that wasn't the case. I think it was very cinematic as well. I mean, it wasn't as cinematic as, say, like Arrival or La La Land or anything like that. But I think it was a really great film. I think it was really well directed. The performances were absolutely fantastic. As far as Best Actor is concerned, I'll get into this in a little minute, but I think Casey Affleck would be my choice for Best Actor. Again, I haven't seen Fences, so, you know, Denzel Washington could be in the running there for winning that. But for me, it's Casey Affleck, and I think Michelle Williams was fantastic as Best Supporting Actress as well. Again, I'm not sure if it's got a chance of winning. It was a really great film, but there were two others that I think were even better. Before I get into the final two, I've also got Arrival to talk about. I absolutely loved Arrival. It wasn't for the final two films. I think Arrival would have won the most awards. Unfortunately for Arrival, however, there were two other films that were even better, I think. So I don't know if Arrival has got a chance. But Arrival was such a fantastic film. A really great science fiction film. And I'm really glad it's got the love that it deserves. Because, you know, sometimes science fiction films don't really do that well at the Oscars. But Arrival's got a lot of nominations and I'm really glad that it's got those nominations even though I don't think it's got a chance of winning those major awards and that's because of those final two films La La Land and Moonlight. I think the majority of the awards at the Oscars are going to be between La La Land and Moonlight. I would say La La Land is going to win the most because La La Land's done the best from out of all the other award ceremonies. It kind of won a lot of BAFTAs as well so as far as best film, best director goes, best actress, La La Land sweep them all at the BAFTA so I would say if that's any indication as to what the Oscars would be like I think La La Land will do really well at the Oscars however we've seen in past years for example the last two years it was a different best film with the BAFTAs and the Oscars 2014 it was Boyhood at BAFTAs Berman at Oscars and then last year it was Revenant at BAFTAs and then Spotlight at Oscars so it could be like that this year, La La Land could win the BAFTA and Moonlight could win the Oscar. I think La La Land will win the Oscar as well though. Barry Jenkins may win for director over David Giselle. Because sometimes when there's two films that are equally as good that people love just as much, usually one gets film and one gets director. However, I think David Giselle probably will win it for director as well. I wouldn't be surprised if Barry Jenkins wins for Moonlight. I wouldn't be surprised if they give it to him. So kind of La La Land and Moonlight both win kind of. But I think La La Land will win the most awards. And I will not be upset in the slightest if La La Land sweeps Oscars because I absolutely love La La Land. It was my favourite film of 2016 and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. And I think it could be made that Moonlight was maybe the better film. I, I, you know, I just personally love La La Land though. So I wouldn't be disappointed if Moonlight did win some. I mean, I hope Moonlight does win some awards, but I think La La Land will be the one to sweep the Oscars if I had to put bet money on it. Also, as far as the other major categories go, director, actor, actress, again, I've already talked about director, I think it will probably be between Damien Giselle and Barry Jenkins. As far as actors is concerned, again, this is probably another two-horse race between Casey Affleck and Denzel Washington. As I mentioned, I haven't seen Fences. I was originally thinking that Casey Affleck would win. However, then when Denzel Washington kind of started winning some awards, he got the SAG award, I was like, okay, maybe Denzel Washington is gonna, maybe it's going more his way now. And I was waiting for the BAFTAs because I was thinking, whoever wins at the BAFTAs, I think that'll be a lot for the Oscars. It might not be the case, but usually the one that wins at the BAFTAs wins at the Oscars as well. And at the BAFTAs, it was Casey Affleck that won. So I was originally thinking Casey Affleck, and I was going more towards Denzel Washington. But as soon as Casey Affleck won that BAFTA, I'm thinking, I'm thinking he's probably a lock for the Oscar. However, it could easily, very easily go to Denzel Washington. And also don't count out Andrew Garfield, because obviously he was in Taxel Ridge and Silence. He was really great. And of course, Ryan Gosling, I absolutely loved him in La La Land. So, but I think it's going to be between Casey Affleck and Denzel Washington. I would want Casey Affleck to win, but I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if Denzel won. Also, as far as actress is concerned, Isabel Huppert for Elle, Emma Stone for La La Land. I think you're know, probably between those two. However, I think Natalie Portman was really great as Jackie. So for me, I would personally want it to be either Natalie Portman or Emma Stone. Isabel Huppert could win it for Elle. I wouldn't put it past that happening. However, I think it's probably a lock for Emma Stone and La La Land. Again, she won the BAFTA as well. So if, if she hadn't won the BAFTA, I would have been maybe, okay, maybe it could go another way. But I'm pretty sure Emma Stone will get that for La La Land. It could go to Natalie Portman, it could go to Isabel Huppert, but I'm pretty sure it will be Emma Stone. As far as supporting actors concerned, my money would be on Mashallah Ali. However, this is a very tough category. And at the BAFTAs, it was Dev Patel for Lion, so he could win it. I don't think it will be Dev Patel. I'm pretty sure the only reason he won, not that he wasn't good in Lion, but I think the only reason he, real reason he really won is because 
you know, BAFTA is British, they want to support the British talent, and Deb Patel was a really great kind of uh, British actor, and I think they just really wanted to reward him. I don't think he'll win the Oscar. He may do, who knows, but even though he was good in line, I don't think he's got a chance of winning the Oscar. I think it will be Mashallah Ali. Maybe it could be Michael Shannon for Nocturnal Animals. It's quite a tough one, but uh, for me, I think it should be Mashallah Ali for Moonlight, because I think he was really great in that film. And supporting actress, again, this is another tough one. My money was originally on Naomi Harris for Moonlight or Michelle Williams for Manchester by the Sea. However, Viola Davis has been winning so many awards and she also won the BAFTA. So I was like, okay, de- definitely, she's definitely got the Oscar. I'd be highly surprised if she doesn't win the Oscar now. I'm pretty sure it's a lock for her to win the Oscar. I was originally thinking Michelle Williams or Naomi Harris. I would have loved either of those two to win. But Viola Davis has won the BAFTA now as well. I'm pretty sure she's a lock for the Oscar. Oh, and I can't believe I completely forgot about Hell or High Water. That was one of the other Best Picture nominees. I, again, <laughs> very overlooked. Uh, even I forgot about it. But I loved Hell or High Water. I saw it when it came out back in August, was it, of last year. I think it's great. I'm so glad it got nominated. I don't think it's got a chance. Jeff Bridges could win Best Supporting Actor. They could give it to him. I think it would be Mashala Ali, but it, Jeff Bridges could win that. I'm a little annoyed Ben Fox didn't get nominated actually because I thought he was a real standout of that film. I thought he was fantastic. It was kind of the sleeper hit of 2016. That it was the really great film that kind of flew under the radar that not a lot of people went to see. Uh, even I forgot about it talking about it in this video. But again, as much as I'm glad that it got nominated, I don't think it's got any chance of winning any of the major awards. Maybe screenplay, who knows? But I think that might go to Manchester by the Sea probably. And there we go, that pretty much wraps up my recap of the 2017 award season, my thoughts on all of the major contenders for Best Picture and which films I think have got the highest chance of winning the most awards. I think it will probably be between La Land and Moonlight if I was to summarise it. I think those two are probably going to get the most awards or I think it's going to be between those two for a lot of the awards. If I was to put my money on it, I'd probably say La Land. But yeah, that really wraps up my video on the 2017 Oscar season. What have you thought about the films that have come out this award season? Which were your favourites? Which ones do you think have got the highest chance of winning the most awards? I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you like this and you haven't already, then be sure to click subscribe to see more. But for now, I've been David O'Sullivan. I'll see you next time.